Hello and welcome to the Ansible certification course. In this video, we will take a look at how our Ansible hands on labs work on CodeCloud. This course comes with real hands on labs that you can access right in your browser. You can access these labs as many times as you want until you feel comfortable. After each lecture in this course, you will be taken to the lab interface. The interface consists of two sections, a terminal on the left and a quiz portal on the right. On the left, you have a terminal to an Ansible controller. It's a terminal to a real system where you can type in commands, create files, explore, break and fix, uh, do whatever you wish to. On the right, you have a quiz interface with a set of questions. At the top is the total number of questions and the question you are currently at. And below that is a timer. The lab environment is available for an hour after which it will expire. But you can always reload and go through it as many times as you like until you feel confident. Typically, each lab starts with a set of easy, multiple choice, exploratory questions that tests your knowledge followed by the real hands-on tougher questions. So this is a very basic and easy lab um, that I'm using here to demo. This helps a beginner get introduced to Ansible playbooks. So the difficulty level is quite low for this one, but we have many other such labs that have a higher difficulty level later in this course. So let me walk you through this. The first question asks, in what format are the Ansible playbooks typically expressed? Python, Jinja2, YAML, or XML? The answer is YAML. Selecting the right answer takes you to the next question. This time the question asks what a playbook is, so the answer is playbooks contains tasks and plays that needs to be run on managed nodes. The next question asks if we can have multiple plays in a playbook. Yes, of course. Okay, and this is where we get into using the labs. So here we have a playbook copy.yaml. The question is to identify the host that would be targeted by this playbook. So open up the playbook and look for hosts. It says web, so we select web. But it says the answer is wrong. Well, in fact, the subtext of the question says refer to the inventory file as well. So we look at the inventory file and we see that web is not really a host, it is a group. But the question asked what hosts are targeted. So the group consists of web1 and web2 hosts. So the correct answer here is web1 and web2. The next question is to inspect a playbook and identify how many plays it contains. So we look at the file file.yaml and we see it's a playbook that contains two plays. So the answer here is two. Now we're getting into more hands-on tasks. This time we're asked to create a playbook web1.yaml to create a blank file named as root myfile.txt under roots home on the web1 node. And at any time during the lab, if you're not sure how to accomplish a task, you could use the hint button that gives you some tips. So we proceed to creating the web1.yaml playbook. We give our play a name, we target web1 host, and then we add tasks. The first task uses the file module and the paths and state parameters. We then save the playbook. Now you could always execute your work to verify it is doing what it is supposed to do. In this case, I run the newly created playbook using the Ansible playbook command. I see it runs successfully. I'm going to SSH to web one node to see if it's done uh, what it is supposed to do. On the web1 node, I see under root, we have the file myfile.txt, which is great. Now that we have verified it, it is time for the quiz portal to verify your work to ensure that you have done exactly what you were asked to do. Clicking on the check button, the quiz portal first verifies the syntax of the playbook. Then, it prepares the environment. Basically, at this point, it is undoing whatever we just did to make sure that the playbook can do it again. This is really to make sure that 
we're not cheating by going in and manually creating that file and not really creating a playbook to do it. Once prepared, the quiz portal applies your playbook and then it verifies your playbook and your task to make sure that they are accomplishing the tasks that they are expected to. The next question gives you an existing playbook named httpd.yaml and asks you to fix the issues within it. So we take a look at the playbook. If you can't spot the issue on checking, try running the playbook and you'll see what the issue is. The property host is not expected. It is supposed to be hosts. Before we fix the issue, let's just try to check the work so we can see an example of a failure. In this case, the playbook check fails at the syntax check itself and tells you where the issue is. We now go and fix the issue and run the playbook. And it seems to be successful. Again, the next question is similar. There seems to be some other issue. We try to run it and it seems the issue is with the indentation. So we fix that and check our work. Once you complete all questions, remember to update the feedback form. This is where you can tell us about the issues you faced in the lab. Or reach us at our Slack channel for support. Well, that's it for now. Access this full course with all the labs and practice tests at codecloud.com. Thank you.